What's up, guys? Nick here from Air 12 Gaming with some more. Le <coughs> One second. What's up, guys? Nick here from Air 12 Gaming back in Forza Motorsport 5 with some more. Let's play. That's not really new, but I'm doing it again. Anyways, a uh, little recap of what I was talking about last time. You may remember if you watched. Last episode, I was doing a car vote for the Audi R18, Mazda, Ferrari, and Peugeot? I think? That was four? Anyways, I was going to do that this episode, but I watched Top Gear, and they featured the McLaren P1, which looked absolutely amazing. I was... I kind of fell in love a bit. Let's go... League Select, where are we gonna go? Have I already completed the R class? Yes, I have. So where can we take this? Probably exotic? Current car eligible. I've already completed that. Where can I take this? All right, so I guess we're just going to take it here. Go modern indie, modern, modern hypercar and just redo the ones that I didn't get gold on because that's a thing that I'm going to have to do. Anyways, let's load it up. Alrighty, McLaren P1. Yeah, I the thing is, I don't like how the wing's up right now, even though, yes, it probably does make it faster. I want the wing down when I'm racing. It looks so much nicer with it down. I, I don't know. That might just be me. Anyways, anyways. This thing does not feel soft at all. I was complaining about it. Be I should probably look where I'm going instead of looking at the car. Hey, getting a bunch of perfect passes. That's always good. Anyways. Anyways, what was I going to talk about? Oh, if you're a fan of GTA, I'm having a GTA community event. Which you may or may not want to be a part of if you're a GTA type person. Just a little quick PSA thing. Uh, if you if you want to be a part of that, there's a link in the description. You can read more about GTA community event. Uh, there's there's a community event happening soon, and you can read more about it in the description. Uh, there's a link. <laughs> Anyways, after that, oh, a lot of people have been asking about live streams in the comments. I I, I made another schedule in case you couldn't tell, which was good. Um, so yeah. Um, a lot of people have been asking about live streams and stuff and me doing more live streams. I've been trying a lot, but I have a whole lot of other stuff to do right now. Like, and my main priority is obviously to make videos for you guys. And it's kind of hard to try and make 14 videos in essentially two days, right? Because I don't, I don't play Xbox in the week, or at least I try not to. I am recording this on a Monday because I didn't have time on the weekend to do it. Uh, just because I'm super busy recording stuff, right? I got to do at least 10 videos on the weekend. I try to get more than that out. I try to get two out a day uh, during the week. And then on the weekend, it's basically up for grabs. I try to get whatever I can out. If I can get one out, I can. If I can't, whatever. Um, but yeah, I've just been super, super busy. I, ho I hope I can get some more time or I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, that's enough about about that. What you probably want to hear me talk about is Top Gear. Because I was going to talk about it last week, but I recorded an event and it didn't actually come out for when I was recording that video. But I have seen the last two episodes. So if you don't want to see spoilers, I'll put up a little thing so you can skip the Top Gear part. But it may go a little a little far into the video. You may, you may be at the very end of the video. So there you go. Anyways... I don't know. You, you can't really spoil Top Gear. <laughs> I guess you, unless you spoil a challenge. I don't know. I watch Top Gear a thousand times a day. It doesn't matter. I've seen them all. Anyways. Anyways. Uh, so the first episode was pretty damn good. The only thing about it was that, 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 oh, first of all, that Golf, that GTI was amazing. It was amazing when he got it. And then he put orange velvet on, Clarkson, put orange velvet on, and it was even more amazing. Which was <laughs> I loved it. I loved it so much. That was, that thing was cool. You guys know I like golfs, and that thing was freaking awesome. The only issue with that episode is that, that part when they were running away from the cops, and they were using all the different cop vehicles, that, that part sort of dragged on for a bit, and, and yeah, that was, eh, it was good, but it, it sort of dragged on. Anyways, episode one, meh, it was okay. Episode two, freaking awesome. Episode two was the one with the P1, the 4C, and what else did it have? 
I just watched it today. And, oh. And yeah. And I forget what was in it. It was the 4C, the news, something, starting a reasonably priced car, and the P1. What was something? I'm good at this. <laughs> Anyways, something really cool that did happen at that second episode is some of... Actually, we need a little bit of backstory for this. So some of you guys know that I'm British. <laughs> more more of the old old time AR12 peeps know that. But um yeah, for all those new guys, I am British. I just live in Canada. Um I'm not American. <laughs> um I'm British, so there you go. Anyways, all my family lives in England, right? Um I have no can I have no family here. Actually, that's not true. I think I have like a second cousin in Toronto or something. I don't know. <laughs> I should probably know these types of things. But anyways, uh, basically all my family lives in England. Anyways, and my, my, my oldest cousin who lives there, he works for Rolls Royce, right? And he, he recently got promoted to being basically the person who, when you go to a car show, he's the person who will take the car there and then he'll be talking to you about it. I think that's what he does. Anyways, he was doing something like that, um, I want to say two weeks ago. And... I think he took the car to a car show. This is the story I heard. Um, he took the car to a car show, and James May... It was James May or Richard Hammond. This is, like, second or third-hand news. Like, my aunt, aunt, told my dad, and then my dad told me, and then information got messed up. Anyways, um, he did that, and it was, e it was either James May or Richard Hammond who were there, and he was talking to them, blah, 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 blah. And then, anyways, one of them was like, oh... Would you like to come to the show? And he's like, yeah, I, can I take some friends and stuff? So yeah, my cousin went to the Top Gear episode too, which was freaking awesome. So he was there. I looked for him in the crowd when I was watching the episode, but he wasn't, I couldn't see him. But that would have been awesome. He took some, he took some cool pictures there. Um, I'll see if I can throw them over this on, on, on Top Gear, this video. But um, I think he took one or two when he was there. Like, not allowed, because BBC and they're crazy. That was a short race. That was like two laps. Anyways, let's 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 go. Next race. Alrighty, signature event. This should be fun. Anyway, so yeah, that's what that's what happened with Top Gear and stuff like that. As per the episode, the episode was freaking awesome. Episode was awesome. The the thing on the P1 that was so cool at Spa. That was <laughs> that was insane. Oh my God, they're all P. Are there even this many P1s in the world? How many P1s are there actually? I'm I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's something like. Pagani does, like, where they make 30 of them, and then they're like, oh, that's it. Uh, that, no, no more. <laughs> I'm not sure what they do for the P1s. It's McLaren, so they can produce a couple? I don't know. I have to look that up. I wonder how many of them there are. They are $800,000 cars, or a million dollar cars. 800,000 pounds? Very expensive. So I don't know. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways, what, what's el what else is on my topic list? Oh, if you guys have any drag tunes, um... I need I need some help with drag tunes. I want to do some more drag racing because because you guys really liked it last time. And if you guys could share some of your drag tunes with me, that would be freaking awesome. I really want one for the F1 car because that could be so so much fun. And I, I don't know what's really gonna happen. It's probably not the best car for drag racing just because it's it's a F1 car, but it, it'd be fun nonetheless. So yeah, you might be saying, how can I submit said drag tune to you? You may know my website, AR12Gaming.com. It's been in the description of like every video. You can go sign up there. I was asking people over there for drag tunes, and like no one had one for the F1 car. So if you if you have one and would would like sharing it, that'd be awesome. And I'll make a video about it and I'll give you credit and stuff. And yeah, ah, ah. <laughs> stay on the track. <laughs> I was doing actually quite well until then. Well, quite well for me is rather shit for everyone else. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright, come on. Yeah, so the, the, so the piece on the P1, that was amazing at Spa. And the 4C thing, that was so cool. Was anyone really expecting that that thing, I don't know what it was, the ATV thing, to turn into a freaking boat? <laughs> I'm like, 
because they, they kept showing some map and he was headed directly for the water. I'm like, why is he not just going straight at the at the thing? I, and it turned into a boat. That was that was really cool. And that I, I don't know where that was filmed, though. That that place was that place was so cool. Um, super wide, 4C, that thing. <laughs> I wish we had that in Forts 4. That thing's being announced for a while. I wish we had that. Same with the Corvette, the C7. That, that thing is also really, really cool. Wish we had that as well. Anyways, that's enough of top-tier stuff. <laughs> All the people who skipped and missed, like, half the episode. Anyways. Anyways, that's enough of top-tier stuff. So, what else is there? There is... Oh! Oh! Oh, update. <laughs> Schedule update. Design. I'm like, what's design? Oh, yeah. I I made another design, and I'm going to post it probably tomorrow. A lot of you guys have been asking where, where all my designs went. Or my design, my, my design videos went. I've just been trying to get some good ideas, some things that, I don't know, that I... I because I, I want to do those design videos really, really well. And I'm not the best painter out there, so I, it's kind of... Shit. It's kind of really hard to find cars that I can actually do because I'm not that great a painter. So I have to find things that are simple, but yet not too simple. And then they have to be things that I think are cool and are worthy of a video. I don't know. But yeah, I, I found something pretty cool that I like. It's kind of a famous car, very famous car actually. And I'm like, why not do it? It's, it's cool. Might as well. Anyways. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Sound like Kevin Hart here. Oh, <laughs> I remember reading the comments. I can't remember your name who suggested this, but the AR-12 drinking game. Every every time I say, anyways, you take a drink, I responded, um, alcohol poisoning <laughs> is a thing. <laughs> Someone should do that. Someone should make a drinking game because I always say the exact same things in my videos. I always yell power. I always, I always yell top gear references. I always say anyways, and I say that's a thing a lot. I have a lot of things like that. <laughs> Someone should make an AR-12 drinking game. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. So yeah, that's a thing. Oh, <laughs> oh there you go. You gotta do it. Gotta do it. <laughs> that wasn't even intentional. Alright, can we please get on this straight, please? Because I can't look at my computer and drive ridiculous cars quickly. Oh, oh, <laughs> some people have also been asking... Where is the Forts of Funny stuff? Ah, that is a good question. When I first came up with the idea to do that, I thought that you could record online races or save replays from online races, and it turns out you can't. So I have to wait for that to be implemented. So I think actually by the time you see this, that's, that's going to be in the game. I think it comes out on the 11th? If I'm right? I, I'm, I'm probably wrong, but... Oh, P1! P1! No! You mad, mad man! Oh, <laughs> that thing's crazy! Ooh, I may have just blown up the engine too. That was not a good gear change. So yeah, Forts are funny. I I need to wait for online cameras because without it, I'm kind of stuck. So I gotta wait for that for now. And then after when that's out, then I can then I can do the Forts are funny stuff, which will be good. I, I want to do that really, really badly. So, wait for that. It, it, what's your issue? Oh, I found your issue. There's a corner. I knew that. I knew that. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. <laughs> what else? Oh, okay, finish the race. Then I'll read my schedule. Yeah, mm-hmm. Drift. Or not. Ooh, wall tap. Sort of. That was cool. That was cool. Meant to do that. All right, next race. Let's go, Mr. P1. Let's go around Spa, your good and almighty oh home, according to Top Gear, <laughs> in Belgium. <laughs> oh, it's such a good racetrack, too. Yo, you're gonna cut me off. You're gonna cut me off. Ow. Are you the new LaFerrari? I haven't seen one of you yet. I actually did zero research on that. It just didn't interest me. I think you are. You are! You are! You're cool. Act is sort of- Ah, what? Why are you breaking? Going around a straight line- Around a straight- Made sense. <laughs> Don't break again. 
Why don't you break when I'm- Oh, what are you doing? Who are you? Seriously? Seriously? Screw you. Move, move, move. I like this guy's gamer tag. It says AR. <laughs> I should make my gamer tag AR. <laughs> Anyways, let's get back to my, my, my topics. My topics. What else do I have on my list of topics? What's. Oh, new outro. I made a new outro, which is cool. If you care, there's a new outro. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god! Okay. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Alright. <laughs> I gotta get these gold medals, man. I gotta get these gold medals. I gotta get that achievement. Or all the achievements. I think you have to get like 300 gold medals. Which was. Which. Eh, oh my god, it's gonna take forever. It's gonna take so long, it's ridiculous. But I gotta do it. Gotta do it. This is a game I can definitely 100%. I just gotta do it. <laughs> I just gotta play a lot and just just do it. Is that a new thing for the drinking game? Yeah, should be. <laughs> Add that to your list. Anyways, what else is there? Oh, there's there's challenges. I was gonna do challenges. I was talking to you, to you guys about them before. Some of you guys said yeah, some of you guys said no. But I do want to do one and just see how it goes and let you guys sort of judge if you if I, if I do another one or not so what I'm gonna ask you guys is if there are any cool challenges out there that I could do like YouTube challenges let me know those in the comments below and I I, I really want to do them like like vlog challenges things like that wait and I'm, I'm not in first what the hell who's winning what is that is that a Hawaii up there sort of looks like one with that paint job I oh, know, I think it's a P1 actually. Think it may be a P1. Let's go find out. Let's go find out. How is he so fast? I didn't change the difficulty. I will be faster around here than you though. I do know that. Cuz I don't like the brake. Okay, you need the brakes. You need the brakes. Yeah, I was leaning into that. <laughs> go, go, go. Go. Shit. I won't. Sh don't does the wing go down in this game? I'm not sure. I haven't tested the P1 thoroughly. Except that wing does annoy me. I wish it went down. I wish it went down. Because it's not the nicest looking wing. I'm sure it helps. But it's not... Uh, I think it looks really cool without the wing. Or with it down, I should say. Is that a P1? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right, gotta catch Mr. P1. Gotta catch Mr. P1 with my P1. P1's a code word for something dirty. <laughs> As a Top Gear reference, you gotta drink now. All right, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, this is getting intense. I can't speak and race intense at the same time. Come on, Mr. P1. Mr. P1, catch Mr. P1. It's a dirty code word. <laughs> All right, come on. Let's go, man. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, a little drift. A little drift. Very acceptable. All right, here we go. This is, I think, where we're going to catch him. He's pulling away. He's pulling away. God damn. That's not cool. Uh-oh. This isn't good. Not a good idea to stay flat. Nope, that was a bad idea. Note to self, don't do that again. That was a bad idea. <gasps> I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can cut the I can cut the corner too. Move! Move, move, move! Move! I broke stuff! Piss off! Yeah! I win! I'm loser! That's Top Gear Reference, loser! Champion! Of the world. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> Best ending to a race ever. I must say. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this Let's Play. <laughs> if you did, click that subscribe button below if you aren't already. Also, click that likes button. 
like button lets me know you enjoyed and want to see more. Anyways, guys, thank you again very, very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. So, what we were doing is we're using the indie cars, and my buddy sp span out in front of me, and I jumped over his car and used it as a ramp. Now, that got us thinking, can you use the indie car as a ramp? And it turns out you can. So, you saw right there a couple times, we're in the middle of the track, right? And we're doing quite slowly because obviously we're doing the credit grind method.